Hey everyone, I'm Ara Derdarian, and today we're going to assemble a speaker set from Parts Express. We've received a few emails asking us uh, about our opinion on uh, do-it-yourself speaker kits and we didn't have any experience with it so we decided what the heck, let's uh, put one together. Uh, we went with Parts Express and they have a few kits uh, and the one we've chosen to do is one that had the speaker cabinets already assembled and uh, finished. They do have a couple, of ki uh, couple kits that don't have them finished and we decided for the first uh, try at this we wanted to keep it as simple as we could. There are uh, There is some soldering that we need to do, and this will be a first for myself and uh, my daughter who agreed to help me as long as I keep her off camera, it'll be the first time we do this. Uh, it's not going to be step by step, but it will be kind of just like at every step along the way, we'll kind of uh, give you an update of where we're at. Parts Express uh, do does have uh, some really nice how to uh, or help videos to take you through the process, and this is more just uh, we're going to uh, kind of document the process. So sit back and enjoy and hopefully you, you'll hear something good at the end of it. The kit comes in two boxes. Uh, the big box has the actual speaker cabinets and the other box has the uh, probably electronics and foam and that kind of stuff. We'll open up the box and kind of show you what's on the inside. By the way, I decided to try and record this on my iPhone and see if this works. Then maybe I'll put out a few more videos. So the audio may not be as good as uh, videos we've had in the past. And it may be a little bit shaky, but we'll, t we'll check it out. All right, here's everything that was in the box uh, taken out. There is the actual speaker cabinets. The lighting's not that good here, but you can, you can see those pretty easily. There is uh, foam insulation to uh, help with the uh, sound. The uh, woofer and the tweeters are inside the boxes. I haven't unboxed those yet. Here are all the components, the uh, capacitors and resistors. Uh, there's coils there. <laughs> By the way, shout out to my wife who let me use our uh, kitchen table to build this on. And you can still see it's decked up for Christmas here. Instructions and some catalogs that came with it. And from this, we will put it all together. And hopefully on those uh, circuit boards there, you'll see something that actually looks like a crossover. And for fun, I thought I'd show you a little bit of our soldering. Very action packed. as simple as that. All right, so that's the uh, finished circuit board. Uh, hopefully I did it right. Let me see if I can uh, flip over. You can see my solder. And I could probably trim those um, leads a little bit more. I'll probably do that as soon as I'm done here. But uh, that's it. It took about an hour, but I was going slow. And uh, you can probably see on here that the glue job's not that great. This is the first time I'm doing this, but uh, we'll see how uh, foolproof this setup is. All right, so next thing is to build the other one and then uh, try to assemble it all inside the cabinets. All right, this is a finished product, two speakers. We had a couple of issues, nothing major. We'll talk about that on the podcast and this is just a quick video, um, not a very long. We'll do a full length video on the process uh, coming up. And so my daughter's gonna hit something so you guys can hear that it's real. When your legs don't work like they used to before And I can't sweep you off of your feet So that's it. Uh, I got stereo. We tested it. Uh, we got um, up to 16 kilohertz of sound with test tones. And uh, we'll, like I said, we'll talk a little bit more about it on an upcoming show. Before I ended the video, I wanted to go through and show you some of the components that are available at Parts Express. They are a full electronics store where they can sell you uh, receivers that are already built, obviously. Uh, but uh, if you wanted to just buy components for speakers, this is uh, I just wanted to show you what's available. Uh, let's look at speaker cabinets. And uh, they're, they're everything from... You just build them from bare wood and cut holes in them and uh, finish them how you want to finish them to um, what I'm going to uh, look at next are the cabinets that are pre-built, uh, finished, 
and uh, look very nice. Uh, this one here, the only work you need to do is cut a hole in the um, in the plate for the in the they call it the baffle for the uh, woofer and the tweeter. Uh, so I have some tools that will be able to do that. Uh, they look pretty nice. They're two hundred eighteen dollars for the pair. And uh, then I was going to take a look at some um, woofers. Let's go take a look at uh, Hi-Fi woofer subwoofers. We'll take a look at the woofer. And I'm just going to pick one at random. Here is one that's um, about $22. And what's kind of cool about this is they will tell you information about the optimal cabinet size. And so if it's a sealed cabinet uh, or a vented cabinet, it tells you where um, the F3 is. And I'm learning that's where the base drops off by 3, um, uh, three uh, dB. And, uh, and then there's a calculator you can find that tells you how long the vent tube should be. I'm having a lot of fun learning all this stuff. So I'm going to design myself a really uh, nice set of speakers based on um, parts, uh, the price. I don't want to, I don't want to break the bank, but yet I don't want, I want it to sound good. There's also, uh, let's see if we can go take a look at those tweeters. And they have various tweeters. Prices are insane on some of these uh, part, uh, some of these parts. I mean, I think if I click on the 200, no, not quite 200, but let's go to $100 price range. There are some tweeters that are in the $100 price range for these tiny little things. So you can see how it can grow in price rather quickly. Um, I think it'll be a lot of fun, and uh, when I get done with that set, I'll, I'll put, take some pictures and uh, put that online as well. I hope uh, you enjoyed the podcast and the, the video on uh, putting together speakers. Hopefully it got you interested in doing that, and uh, if you are building them, please share with us. If you've already built some, share the design with me. I'm, I'm totally into this thing now. Uh, you can support the show by going to our website, and you can click on the Amazon banner which is right there at the top or you can just go to htguys.com slash Amazon and it takes you right to the Amazon web page it looks the same as it does if you were just to go there by typing in amazon.com but it, it does help us with um, giving us a little bit of commission and it helps us do projects like this so uh, thank you for watching and uh, I'll catch you on the podcast <laughs>